evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Chaos Magic 101. Today, we're going to be building an altar to Santisma Muerte. Now, as many of you know, Santisma Muerte is a Mexican folk spirit. Um, she is associated with death and the graveyards, but she's also, as I've discovered recently, associated with necrosophic demonology, uh, which is demonology dealing with the spirits of death. Um, it's kind of interesting, and not a lot of people would agree. However, uh, we're going to go through a traditional way of building an altar for her, and once you go through the traditional methods of working with her, then you can go about testing to see the different methodologies that she can help you with. For instance, necrosophic demonology. Um, so, first things first. Uh, when you're building an altar to her, uh, there are two schools of thought. One is you want to have black, the other is white. I prefer having a nice black board and a black candle to burn for her. Um, as well, you're going to need cascarea, you're going to need uh, Florida water, and holy water. You can pick this up at a Catholic church, or you can have someone uh, who is capable of making holy water bless it for you. Um, you'll need a cup of good old-fashioned tap water. Um, you'll need this Santisma Muerte oil. It's green and it smells lovely. And you can pick, typically pick those up at local bodegas. You'll also need a sprig of rosemary and a white Santisma Muerte candle. Now, there are some schools that would say you need all three, a black, a red, and a white one. And there are also some that would say you need a black, a red, and a green candle. Um, we're going to do, like, real traditional, so we're going to go with white. Okay, so, first things first. We actually have to cleanse the altar space. And that is why we have Florida water. Florida water is wonderful. It's... It smells great, it's got this almost holy water-like property to it, and it dries really, really quickly. So you just sprinkle this over it. I like to put it in my hand, some people like to pour it out of the bottle, but you just rub down the board with it. Once you have that rubbed down, you then take your holy water, and you do basically the same thing. So you do just a sprig of that, and rub it down. Now that that's done, we're going to take our grain oil, put it on our finger, and touch each of the corners. Okay. Now this area is now pure and sanctified. We can use this for a number of different things. Um, as it is now, uh, this could be built for an altar for different spirits uh, using the same methodology. But we're going to align this with the energy of Santisma Muerte. So for that, take another sprig of rosemary. We're just going to kind of wipe the whole thing. Okay. Now, we're going to put Herveves on here. So... So, as you can see, it's chopped, it looks kind of weird, kind of kitschy. Um, the important thing to note here is, when you make this, after you make it, you're going to have stuff on your hands. You have to take your Florida water and rinse it off. And this is important, because when you put down a bevis, it carries a certain energy to it. And... 
if you don't wash that energy off of you, you open yourself up to a lot of really nasty stuff later. So just make sure your hands are nice and clean afterwards with no gunk from the cascarea on. Okay, so now we've got this done. The next part is setting up our candle. And in front of the candle, we're going to want to put some water. Now, we always put drinking water. Uh, this is really important because Centisma Muerte is a spirit of death. All spirits of death like three things. Clean drinking water. They like bread and they like honey. And this is because the thought is in the underworld, there is no water. All the water that could be there is stale and brackish and it just not fit for consuming. And so the, de the dead typically are constantly thirsty and constantly parched. Um, we take care of this by offering clean water for them to drink. And over the week, it's going to evaporate. So uh, we make sure that we have a glass that will slowly evaporate. You don't want it too big, otherwise you're going to be left over with a lot of water. And you're going to have to trek off property in order to get rid of that. Um, so here, by the end of the week... This should all evaporate down. Now, our candle, I like to put them right on top of the bevis. Some people would disagree, but I find that this works really well. The water I leave off of it, but kind of in the general area, always in front of the candle. Um, and the last thing is your rosemary. And your rosemary can go on the bevis with it. So now we have an altar that's here. Uh, the only thing left to do is to do the novena for Santisma Muerte, which requires nine days of prayer. And typically I like doing this just after the sun sets. So when you get off of work, you get home, uh, you wait until the sun goes down, you light her candle and you pray in front of it. And then after the prayer, blow the candle out and you can go about your night. Um, this together will create a nice sanctified holy space for you to begin your work with. Uh, the only other thing, some people and some traditions will suggest a white or a black candle to go with this. And I personally don't see it to be necessary, but if you do, you just put it right down here, right in front of her, so you have a balance between the fire and the water here. Um, and always make sure to use the same colored candle as whatever altar you're using. So if you use the white altar cloth, use a white candle. If you're using black for your altar, use a black candle. Um, and always, always, always start with a white Centismo Muerte candle. Or if you're following certain traditions that have a Chthonic lending, use a green one. Anyway, this has been building the Centismo Muerte altar on Chaos Magic 101. I hope you've enjoyed it, and have a good evening.